and the aid bill, after much fighting back and forth in the Senate, will pass the Senate virtually unscathed. We've just received the 60 votes we need to beat back a filibuster. And now we need a simple majority from here on out to pass the bill. Once the bill is passed, it'll move to the House of Representatives, where it will be a single vote away from the President's desk. We are halfway home, and we're urging the leadership of the House of Representatives to put the bill on the floor next week. To all of those New Jerseyans who are wondering uh, as we approach this holiday uh, whether or not uh, there is going to be relief, I think today is an incredibly uh, important uh, and fantastic note of the United States Senate to say we are on our way uh, to helping you uh, lift you up, reopen your businesses, get you back in your home, uh, and help rebuild communities. We started off with seeking a robust amount of money to respond to an incredibly uh, difficult uh, and robust challenge that we have in the region. Uh, at this point, we move uh, to next Thursday with a robust package. And I believe that when we are finished, we will send the House of Representatives a package that is uh, robust, that can meet the needs of the people in the region, that can be smart, that can save lives in the money, uh, save uh, lives in the future, save money in the future, save property in the future, save rateable basis in the future, and really mean uh, a great deal and do it smart. Imagine the people who look at their businesses and they see rubble, they see destruction, and wondering how can I rebuild? Well, the answer to each one of them is this is going to help. This is the first step for them to actually rebuild. This bill will have in it money for homeowners to rebuild, for business owners to rebuild. It has money for the cities and the states to begin to rebuild the infrastructure that's so desperately in need. It is a very good first step.